straight down the hall, first door to your left. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. No guns inside the jail. Ah, uh, Mr. Jeanette. I've been expecting you. Excuse me. What? Go do your nails or try on some clothes or whatever it is that you do. Just go. Okay. <laughs> well, we've never met Mr. Jeanette. I understand you've done some fine work for us in the past. Yes, sir. I always try to do my best, Mr. Hoffman. Yes, I'm sure you do. Have a seat, Mr. Jeanette. Oh, sure. <laughs> Look, I appreciate you guys busting me out and everything. Tell you the truth, I didn't think anybody would give it a try. Quite honestly, Mr. Gennetti, normally we would not have. But I have a problem I was hoping you could help me with. Sure, anything you say. That officer that arrested you last night, Tucker, mm -hmm. I believe it was. What did you say to him? Well, nothing. Mr. Hoffman, I, honest, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say a word. It disturbs me greatly to hear that. You see, this Tucker is asking questions. He knows something. I must know what it is. Yeah, well, I didn't say anything. Mr. Gennetti, this weapon has five empty chambers, one full one. Now tell me, how much did you tell Officer Tucker? Nothing. Nothing, I swear it. How much did you tell him? I'm telling you the truth, man. Nothing. How much did you tell him? Nothing. Nothing. Three chambers left, Mr. Gennetti. I don't know what you want. Two chambers left, Mr. Gennetti. Please. Please talk to me. Two chambers left, Mr. Gennetti. Tell me what you told him. Nothing.
get miklan on the phone.